Good morning. I'm here with Amy Cox. Uh, she's participated in the 48-hour breakthrough in the past, and she's just here to share some insights and some of the things she got and what her experience was at the 48-hour breakthrough. Amy, thanks for being here. You're welcome. Um, Amy, you know, when you think about the 48-hour breakthrough, what are some of the big things that you walked away from that weekend with? Probably the biggest thing was realizing, you know, that I had fears that I wasn't dealing with and some anger, which most people know me, they just think I'm a little miss happy-go-lucky. But there were some things buried down in there which um, surfaced, which was huge. And it really, really helped me move forward to learn a lot about myself and, um, you know, find that confidence in myself um, and get back to dealing with some issues that I had and just really helped me grow. And it wasn't any major issue. I mean, these are probably issues that a lot of people go through. Absolutely. A lot of little things, but they were just hindering my life in general that, honestly, I wasn't even aware of what was going on. I thought, me? Angry? No, never. Um, and then I just realized there were a few things buried, you know, as far back as childhood that then developed into some insecurities in my life that I just needed to deal with. And it just, um, like all of you, I was scared to, scared to death to go to this thing um, and was so unbelievably happy you know, afterwards, just the changes that I made in my life. Did other people notice uh, a different you after it? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> what did they notice? Um, I think just the change and probably my attitude and getting more focused into dealing um, with life issues in general and probably, not that I wasn't taking life seriously, um, I mean it appeared to people probably that I that I wasn't, but it was more just out of fear, and so it made me realize that I needed to start um, being more honest with people um, and really looking at the real issues going on. So when you're saying being more honest, are you talking about your communication? Do you feel like you picked up communication skills in the 48-hour breakthrough that you were able to use and, and speak to your loved ones? Uh, more clearly and more honestly. Absolutely. I've always been the one that's, oh, everything's great, everything's perfect. And it made me realize that sometimes it's better in a caring way to be honest with people about how you're feeling instead of just playing the everything's okay role. Because now I have better communication with my family and especially my friends who I've developed much closer relationships with because I've just been able to talk with them more openly. So, um, you know, looking at your at business, um, do you feel like the 48-hour breakthrough helped you in your business? Yes. Um, it's just helped me be more confident in my abilities. I think I've always had a few issues there with um, just probably confidence. And I think now people are seeing that um, my confidence is back. And I've always had the knowledge. I just maybe didn't trust myself in sharing that with people and I think they see that in me now again. Nice. So you've seen more business as a result of it. Absolutely. So Amy, you know, if someone's watching this video um, and maybe they're thinking about coming to the 48 hour breakthrough but they don't know and there's something kind of making them go, Ugh, what would you say to them? First and foremost, just go. Quit worrying about it. Stop making excuses. It is a scary thing, but I promise you, if you'll just put all that aside, make yourself go, you absolutely won't regret it in the end. Thank you, Amy, for being here this morning. <laughs> well, there, you've heard it from someone that's actually been there. And if you have any other questions, feel free to call me. Thanks.